Abraham Oshio Hamale is a resident of Oba Guriola Street in Ojo local government area of Lagos State, an indigenous of Edo State, South South Nigeria. In 1993, when he relocated to Lagos State to start his minor job as a carpenter, his aim was to do things that would keep the body and soul together and be able to provide food on the table for his family. But now, Abraham is a house owner in Lagos State. A feat he ascribed to the construction of Oba Guriola Road, where his furniture shop is located. All thanks to Governor Akinu Miambodi, who approved the building of the road to allay the suffering of the masses. I have my office uh, of uh, Oba Guriola Road, Sele Bus Stop, and Oba Nai Oba Guriola. I do furniture make out of Usu. So I was here now almost, uh, get almost 25 years now. At that time, there's no place because most are not able to enter this street and the Ibudo legs are not able to pass here because the road was very rough when people not used to pass here at that time. We only just managed where we come, the morning we go, nobody was able to come and even visit us they want to buy something because nobody was able to, able to pass to come and near say they want to buy something by then. But today now, where the road is already done now, people are able to drive in now to buy something on our hands. Our house in Lagos here now, to this job today now, I glory be to God that the God have done it. Oba Goriola Street is a major link road which was proud to September 2016, inaccessible to commuters, residents, and most especially, small-scale business owners. Um, this road was so poor, so rough, very, very bad before we moved to this place. And um, even when we were currently here, sometimes our luggage will be dropped by the roadside. Then we use her, the human effort, to transport it to this place. Members of Ibonla Community Development Association on their own tried to make life easier for themselves through palliative measures on the then bad road. But when their call was answered by the Lagos State Governor, it was joy from day one of construction till the commissioning day. It was a great day, a joyous day for us. And I say kudos to the governor, the God bless him. It's like we have a newborn baby, you know? <laughs> I say, woman, when you have a newborn baby, you will be very excited at least. There will be no portals, there will be no uh, vehicle breaking down in the middle of the road. Believe in me, it settles a lot of rifts between the indigenous of this state and the people coming here to live, the external people, because those times, there's always quarrel among them that the so-called homonilers, the so-called indigenous have collected money on this road and spent and this and that, causing a lot of rift among them. But when this road came up, it set to all the differences among them. Measuring up to 450 meters long and 8 meters wide, the road is beautified with street lights on both sides, which has drastically reduced the rate of crime in the area. In those days before you come here, you see people coming to rob in the dark, coming to relay people, people shouting everywhere. We are always living panicking. But this time around, when you are coming from this time, you have seen the person far away from you. You know what it, what it entails, so you understand. So we really appreciate the governor for his uh, good vision. They gave us, they always give us this zoo to power the generator. That's what they said that they still even pay the person in charge of this, doing these things. Ah, it's marvelous. We have no cause to have any complaint. And by 8 o'clock, come here, it's like a small London. In showing appreciation to the state government, executive members of the host communities set up a task force team to monitor and prevent users from abusing the road. According to them, those found wanting will be apprehended and taken to the traditional head of the community. Oh, so you know, in the parking. Our 
If the likes of Abraham were to choose a state in another world, Nigeria's center of excellence would definitely be their choice. On my own part as the CDC chairman, there are times I live within the locality. I live within the uh, community. There are times I come here 10, 11, 12, I, I mean, either here or the other CDA yes. to make sure the lights are on. If there is anyone I find out that uh, it's not okay, I make sure I get in touch with the CDA chairman and I must confess to you, they are always here to act promptly. They have been doing, performing wonderfully well concerning the maintenance of the road. I, first of all, I want to thank the governor for remembering this area because we thought Lagos State had forgotten about us. But during his time, he was able to rekindle our hope. We appreciate him for what he did.